But I want to also say, you know, yesterday you spoke. Council voted to pass the resolution, and I respect that process. I respect that decision. <clears throat> I'm just a little bit dismayed, however, by the process that it took that resolution to get here. And I want to make that distinction clear. That process that it took to get the resolution expedited on the agenda was a grave concern to me. Someone emailed me and told me that they were disappointed in the poor decision that I made. However, um, the public is not privy to what happens behind closed doors why certain resolutions are expedited, why some are not, why some are, why some are more focused on. You're, you're not privy to that. But there's a lot that goes on behind closed doors and behind the scenes that you don't know about. And I could look the other way. I could not say anything, pretend, and go along with the game. But that's not what I'm here to do. This resolution was placed back on the agenda from over six months ago. There were two other resolutions with it, and one of those resolutions was to study what type of comprehensive plan we could input within our municipal buildings. It was delayed because at the time, the majority of council stated that it was too soon to deal with this issue, and I understand that. But clearly, yesterday, that was not the case because that resolution was brought, a resolution was brought forward that was germane to the same issue. This resolution represents the community as well, though, just like the community uh, was represented in the resolution last night. And it warrants consideration just like any other resolution. This resolution is supported, however, by some positive statistics. There was a poll that was implemented in Virginia Beach, and it asked the question, would you want to allow your local ju jurisdiction to ban guns in public buildings? Here are the results. 67% supported. 26% opposed it. And 7% said not sure. As a result, there is support for this measure in our community. I just don't know if I have the support on council this evening for this resolution. And with that, I will redraw, withdraw the resolution on that merit. because we asked the city manager to bring to us, after about 30 days following the investigations, recommendations for uh, taking into account those findings and uh, evaluating everything in our buildings, all the possibilities, but primarily to also include our employees, because I think our employees are critical uh, to giving us the <coughs> input or how they see we should be dealing with their particular building, their particular situation. And this whole question, I think, this. needs to have their input. Thanks for that. And I would want that before we were to move forward with the resolution such as we have before us. Secondly, and some of these are the very reasons that I could not support the, the resolution yesterday, um, it's out of our process for communicating 
our feelings to the General Assembly on proposed legislation, particularly for bills that we have not yet seen. Uh, we have a process for doing that in commenting and uh, in, in giving our input for our legislative package or during the process of the session to uh, have either us as individuals or our representatives uh, commenting to the General Assembly our positions. And we, are, we would not be using that process. We would be taking a position on bills that we have not yet seen. And that, I think, would be a, a very important reason to also not deal with this tonight. And then, of course, it's very important, my feeling, and, and I know we're doing a lot with resolutions these days, but I think it's very important um, resolutions of this import and the import of the one we had last night that they be compiled with input from our council members with a lot of discussion, as we talked about last night when, when Ms. Wooten made the proposal that we defer it so that we could all have input in what that resolution said. And I would think before we would do any resolution to send to the General Assembly <coughs> about our position, it needs to have a lot of discussion by the full council with the full intent to develop the resolution. And for those reasons, and I did state those things <coughs> yesterday at my reasons and my concern uh, during our uh, session. And uh, someone missed that part of the session, apparently. But anyway, I, I really appreciate your your because I think it's so important that at this time, as I said yesterday, rather than being divisive, we need to be working together. We do not need a divided council. We do not need a divided community. We have a lot of passion for our city. We all have passion for our opinions. We need to come together and find out where that common ground is. Because I think we really all want the same thing. We just have to figure out how we're gonna get there. Uh, and I think we can over this, and I really appreciate your your uh, request to withdraw. Thank you, Aaron. <coughs> big boy. I, I played in some pretty hostile environments in, in my time. Um, but I get it. I mean, your anger, your fear, your pain, your your, your passion, um, it comes with the territory. To sit up here and, and, and listen to your harsh criticisms and, and disrespect, I get it. You know, I wouldn't uh, you know, run for public office if I thought I couldn't handle it. So I understand. And I also understand that you know, there's a lot of emotions um, around whether it's the Second Amendment, the Constitution, this massacre. But first, let me go back to something from Mr. Mr. Leo Johnson. Um, you know, you, you said some pretty harsh things to me tonight. Um, and one of the things you mentioned, you, you questioned whether or not I was there in April 2007. 32 of my friends were killed in April 2007. I'm just going to tell you about one, Ryan Clark, 22 years old, a month, senior, a month out from graduating. And Ryan was, uh, <laughs> Ryan was a cool dude, man. He was, he was one of the, the guys we would see would run out the tunnel at Lane Stadium, and he would be right there with the Mike Virginians, and they would be getting us going, <coughs> you know, let's go. Because when you step down on that field, or even on that campus at Virginia Tech, we all were one. We were all one. So when I came back home and ran for office here, I knew that we all were one. So to make a distinction that somehow, because I wasn't in that classroom, or I wasn't in building two, and I was somehow unaffected, that's pretty harsh for me. Not to mention, to think that it has no effect on any of us sitting here. It's pretty harsh. We are affected, whether directly or indirectly. So one of the other things, you know, um, that I learned from, from that experience with that tragedy, it was, and I seen it right away, when the first time this resolution came about, voted no on it. And I voted no on it because I knew, 
I knew, I foresaw, I foresaw, I had a vision. There would be both sides on top of this, on this issue. There's always the rush to take the guns away. People, I want my guns. And where did that leave the city? Where does that leave our city? And I said, you know, Lord, you placed me in this position not to take sides in a nonpartisan seat. It's about leading Virginia Beach. I do want a gun. I am a concealed weapon holder. I do. I respect the Second Amendment, the whole entire Constitution. But I knew, just like I knew six months ago when this resolution came past, that a vote for that will split one half of our city. I knew the vote last night will split the other half of our city. That's not why I sit in this seat. I don't sit in this seat to, to separate or divide our community. And lo and behold, I don't sit in this seat because I don't have the authority. This position on council does not have the authority to, <coughs> to regulate or have the authority on, on firearms. I know how state elections went. Democrats took over the house. There's a lot of extreme pre-filed bills. That's not how we operate. That's not having faith in the system and government. I tell you right now, I will uphold the U.S. Constitution, our Second Amendment. But to see, I serve, make sure I put Virginia Beach first, all of Virginia Beach. And so I see everyone out here exercising your First Amendment rights, talking down to my <coughs> colleague, disrespecting her. I don't appreciate that. I see. I know you're passionate. You're supposed to be. I know you. I know you're passionate. Heck, I enjoy shooting my gun out Pungo too, right? That's not the way. That's not the way Virginia Beach moves ahead. That's not the way we have real change, effective change. Voting on res legislation that we have no authority of, but yet one side of our city celebrating the other side at home crying, not because they have fear of somebody with a gun, because they may just don't like the us. They may not like the sound of us. They just don't want to touch it. But to ignore their rights and to ignore your rights, where does that leave us? It's a house divided. And we've all and we've all heard that that saying, right? A house divided cannot stand. I want us to stand, stand together, stand tall. I want us to have that, that tough conversation with a room that's not just filled with this one one perspective, but with both perspectives. So we can really talk and figure out how to make our community safe by protecting all of our rights. So again, um, I value everyone coming out here tonight. Uh, I'm proud of you all have to come out here tonight. And, and those who may be too unafraid to come out here tonight, um, I speak for you as well. I speak for all of you. And Mr. Uh, Leo Johnson, look, man, it, it comes with the territory. But guess what? I love you. Love you too, man. Call me. I will. We will talk. <laughs> Thank you. I just briefly want to say I think we've had two really good nights of being together and hearing from you and passion in your hearts and hearing your stories. It has really meant a lot to me and it's really touched my heart and hearing what you thought and what you've been through and your life experiences and, and how important it is that you've heard at the beginning of our meeting a lot of stuff that we deal with with zoning issues but this is the heart of America what we dealt with with the Second Amendment and the Constitution of last time and um, I'm, I'm very grateful for the time that we've spent together and and I want to thank Councilman Bowie for his large donation to her, her legislation tonight. And, and I think that really helped bring us all back together rather than dividing us. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's very distressing to know that our bases in Orlando are being attacked this month. And I would hope that we could just have a couple of silent moments for our country. Moment of silence for you.
Thank you. Okay, I want to thank everybody. Okay. Yeah, we, we, we will. If I could just make a, you know, a closing remark, I want to thank everybody in the gallery, and I want to thank everybody at, at, you know, at this dais. We live in challenging times, we live in dangerous times. There are many bad actors out there in the world today, you know, foreign and domestic. And I guess one of the eye-openers was when I became mayor, that a lot of events that I go to, I have to have three armed police officers go with me because of the inherent dangers that are out there. And these are tough emotional times. A lot of people are scared for a lot of reasons. I mean, if you just watch the news, you get scared sometimes. But that being said, you know, we did have dialogue here. And going forward, I can say that we do have a retreat coming up, and we've had a request by several members, you know, to focus our retreats more. And there was a constructive recommendation made by a few this afternoon that we talk about things like build, building security, but talk about things as a whole. And, you know, the thing is, and I do respect what Aaron said, and I do respect what Sabrina said, but you know, going forward, that we as a body have significant challenges going forward in so many ways, budgetary and otherwise. And if I could say, you know, we respect your right to speak. But believe me when I say, even in spite of emotion, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And sometimes when you come in with the personal attacks, that really, really doesn't help foster the communication and the bridges that we need going forward. The point is, we as a council, as a body, with the challenges that we have going forward, need the public to engage with us. And yes, you have a per your First Amendment right to say what you want when you're up there, you know, with, to a degree. But, you know, going forward, you know, let's get this unification together and let's show everybody that Virginia Beach is in fact getting unified and that we do things with civility and respect and sometimes we're going to disagree. But I say that going forward that, yes, the last couple of days we've had some conversation. But guess what? Let's make it into a positive outcome for everybody. And yes, come together as a council, but also come together as a community. The one thing we found out over the last several months, the strength of Virginia Beach or the people of Virginia Beach with the resolve that we have going forward. But let's go forward. You know, as Aaron said, let's go forward together. And, you know, respect our differences, but let's really focus on what we have in common. And for that, I thank you very much. And at this point, Mr. Vice Mayor, can we do the appointments? Thank you all very much. I have a minute with you. I want to introduce you to all these people. Okay. We can go out that door if you want. Just run to that. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Hold on, don't go anywhere. I want to introduce you guys to somebody. <laughs> Did they? Yeah. Oh, no, that's fine. We're live. Anything's going to be on this. That's how it is. All right, hold on. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, man. Good job, guys. Come here. Come here. Look, look, this is Vincent Smith, guys. If you don't know him, he's on, he's on the Virginia Beach 2A site. 
Vincent is the spearhead of the entire Virginia Beach movement. All the people that showed up here tonight would not have been here because of him. All the people that were here last night would not have been become because of him. If you want to see what a patriot looks like, it's this guy right here. I don't know so, about that. I'm just a guy that clicked the button to create a Facebook event. Yeah, so he, he likes to go organi organize things. He likes to say that, but this guy has put in hundreds of hours. You think I put in hours? This guy has done equally the same. He's a, just a little bit under, more under the radar. But this is the guy you want to be thanking. Go to uh, the Virginia Beach 2A page, join it, and say thank him for everything he did. You're going to make me cry, too. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with ourselves now. I guess we're going to have to worry about yeah, getting I'm you elected. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs>